Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Stoneblock 2. Guys, we have got some exciting stuff planned for today. So I hope you are all ready because, guys, we're going to be working on automating the processors. And uh, I've done a bit of work in here. As you can see, we've uh, we've we've moved the uh, the inner, or the terminals over here from over there. I've also added in some detail. I haven't done much down here except I added this here. So from down below, it just looks like this is a little bit stronger than it was. Uh, and then I put the... Uh, uh, dense cable all the way over there. I actually found a way to make um, to make string really fast. Uh, I programmed a macro onto my keyboard. It's a G6. I have one. I have a, a Corsair keyboard. It's got the keys on the, the left side. And uh, we need to go ahead and charge this up so I can show you. Uh, but what I do here is I hit this button and it it repeatedly hits. Um, it holds. It'll it'll actually tap or it'll act like it's using uh, the right click and then it'll hold shift. So I'm able to like hit this button, walk away, come back. And um, it's it's like freaking ridiculous. So this is almost done. We're at, you want to go? Want to fight me? Yeah, you want to fight me? So I thought, so I thought, you're going to die. You're going to die, pig. Oh man, you ain't got nothing. TKO. I'm oh, just kidding. That was a KO. He died. He straight up died. That's not a TKO. All right, so here we go. So I'll, let me show you this. So I hit this button here. G like a G6, Brrr, it just grows it like crazy. It works better if I do it on that. But you can see how fast that thing's growing. And uh, this will just go right through. Like as you can see, we're, we've already used up a heck ton of power. But I just sit here and go AFK for like a few minutes. I'll go to the bathroom, get some water. I'll come back. And uh, yeah, we already got 40 string. And I do that a few times. I get a better, I get a bigger uh, flux capacitor. And dudes, we are set. Look at that. We got 10 wool. Just, just there. Just sitting there showing you guys. So, but anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and work on this today. Uh, I got all the stuff. I think I have all the stuff we need here. Uh, so we have our advanced inscribers. Now, these are going to be our our goats, our good boys. And I hope I built this right. So I wanted these to kind of be isolated by themselves. Yeah, okay, good. So this here will be that, and then we'll have to come out from the bottom too. So like, like this. Yeah, and we'll come down here with these. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Looks great, doesn't it? Mm. Freaking love these blocks. If you guys couldn't tell, I really do like these. Mm, in my opinion, these are like some of the best modded blocks in the game. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Over here, We might just cut it off here and do something else, which is what we'll probably do. So let's get on over here to the back. I've got our uh, ME Dense Cable back here already because we are overachievers. And all we need to do is just connect that with one cable and power all of them. So if we go like this, boom, these all have power now. Yeah, okay. And these shouldn't take up any channels. We're gonna use these. Uh, we're going to have an input in an output chest, like so. And then most of the work will be with the item conduits. Uh, we're gonna, we also, I didn't think to grab any filters, which is unfortunate. Okay. So import bus, this will take items out and then we're gonna use the ME interface to put items into it. And, oh, I didn't grab the cable, or I forgot to grab the cables, huh? Okay. Like so, like so, okay. And then this, this is the freaking crazy parts. Now with these, it's a lot easier than the other method. Using the default ones would have been absolutely ridiculously difficult. Uh, but we can do all of it with just those cables. And each of these will have to have their own press. So let's go ahead here. We're going to make um, two more silicone ones. So put the... I grab this? Oh, yeah, it's right here. So I'll make two of those. These will smelt up. As you can see, they got power. Good. How is our power running? Okay, so we're still, we're still doing well. We're still doing good. All right. And we're gonna need to make a whole bunch of acceleration cards. We can automate that after this is all set up. Uh, oh yeah, the filters, that's what I came back for. And I made a ton of stuff off camera for it. Cause we need it, oh. Okay then. 
I mean, we have enough, but I didn't think it would be that easy. Nine, okay. Cool. So each one of these is going to have its own filter. Um, so let's see. Insert filter. Actually, we're going to need 18 because I, I... Maybe we'll need 18. Maybe, maybe. Okay, let's go make, let's, we can easily make another uh, nine. <laughs> no, we can't. We can't make another nine. Okay, that'll be fine. Um, ooh, I've set this up before. Um, I'm going to do the top row. We'll, we'll do the bottom row with you guys. I'm going to do the top two rows by myself because I need to figure that out. The bottom row is very easy. You just have all of the inserted ones on the back and then stuff like that. So I'll be right back. I'm going to figure most of this out. All right, so I think I got this figured out. Uh, let me explain. Actually, it's not. It's figured out, but it's not done just yet. So what I have here is each of these is ex inserting and taking out of on green. And the way we're filtering it is we have these item filters in here, which are uh, blocking whatever can go in here and come out, or just what can go in. Anything can come out. So we have only silicone coming into here, and then uh, we need to set all of these to round robin too. By the way. And um, so they come out of here, and the only place they can go is down here into these three. Now, these aren't set up yet because I don't have any of that calculation or any of the other processes set up. So what we do here is we only allow these certain items to come into here. Um, and that way we can uh, really get going with this. So look, we have diamonds in here, and then we're only going to allow di our the engineer circuits to come into the bottom. So only diamonds can go into this one to get made, and only the, the finished product of that can go into here. So basically, uh, filters are our best friend. And we need to grab the logic one and put it here. And if we do this, we should see all of these. Yep, so it's able to pull out of any one it wants and insert into any one it wants. So perfect. This is uh, automated. All we have to do now is just automate the uh, recipe. But yeah, very simple. It has come a long way because I remember automating this in the, back in the day. And it was so freaking tough, guys. I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to explain it, but I'm not going to argue. I don't know what I was trying to say. I'm not going to not gonna lie. It was, it was so tough to just figure it out. And it, it took me... Like back in, like two, just two years ago, it would take me like at least an hour just to set it up. And it was, yeah, it was bad. So let me go ahead and we can just get rolling with this. And, whoops, cool thing would be is to have a chest. So if we had any access of this, we could just put it in there. Now we need, we do need to load up all of the silicone and, um, all the silicone and, redstone in those so let's get going with that and the cool thing is we are we will be able to automate um silicone here in this episode because all that silicone needs is um service quartz being pulverized and then stuff like that so we're just gonna keep loading it up we'll let it load itself up and i will go ahead and it's just a me interface with um a redstone furnace in front of it just like we set up the pulverizer and then we'll be able to do that so I will be right back. I'll show you guys when it's done. All right, guys. So now it is time to set up the auto crafting for these items. So this should be pretty simple. All we have to do is just change out what we're using here. And so say we're using, or I'm just going to grab all of these while we're here. So we're going to say one, one, and one. Each of these creates one of these. Bam, we're going to create that. So we'll substitute that out, put that there, substitute that out, put that there. Boom, creates that. Substitute that and that, put this here and put that there, and that equals this. So now we have all of these uh, set up here. So now if we come over here, oh, not there. See how it says diamond chest? So now each of these can go into here, and they're automated. This is 100% automated. We don't have to touch this again other than putting in the acceleration. Oh, that feels really good. We're making some heavy progress. I went ahead and added that over here. We're going to have it so all of these are furnaces, all of these are pulverizers. We're going to have alloy smelters, induction smelters, uh, all of the, the things that we could possibly think of to put in all of these 
it's going to be a great time. And that's going to run out of power, I just realized. So we need to go ahead and I think we're going to have to put a, a flux thing on each one of these, which isn't ideal, um, but we it's not really exp it, ooh. like we can easily afford it because we have so many ender pearls now and so much obsidian. Yeah, we'll just use up all the obsidian we got. So that, there we go. Need some conduit. Grab this stuff. We actually, it would be cool to get into the higher tier conduit. I would be a big fan of that. So we're just going to copy the other side just like we did. I think it was last episode we did that. So put that bad boy here. No limits because we're awesome. Turtle power, good to go. And so we'll just come down here and we'll run the cable all the way down. One thing I'm not sure of is if there's a conduit facade on one of these. Will it automatically like hook up to the like will it go through the cable facade after that stuff? Well, I've got a hundred silicone. Yeah, that was the issue. Cool. Um, but yeah, I'd like to make because we're gonna make this automation and blue. Um seem to go together so i might not make that cyan i might make that uh like a dark blue but uh actually no i decided to make that the green room i'm sorry so let's go ahead we're gonna do the same thing we did before with just this i made a bunch of that ah, that's too much we made too much ah we don't have glass mm, we really need to work on our glass i feel like every single time i try to craft something i'm having to make glass and it is kind of annoying. It is very annoying. So I'm going to go ahead here. And I'm, oh, I also showed you guys this. I don't know what I'm going to do in here. I think I'm going to make these the lamp blocks. But I need ideas for this wall. I was originally going to do sugar cane because I thought that would look good. But we have this. And so the sugar cane idea won't work. Uh, but I'm going to do this off camera and I'll be right back. All right, guys. To test out our brand new auto crafting system, I went ahead and I thought I started uh, crafting of a 64K. Yeah, I did. Okay. So what are we making? What are we making? What are we making? So let's see. Is it in here? No, it's in here. Okay. So what we're making is the 1K. So where is that? <gasps> there it is. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So I've got it so that uh, each of these is different. So like this is the 16K. Here's the 4K, stuff like that. So they're in each one. As you saw, there were much bigger ones. Uh, uh, 16,384 K. Uh, that's like top of the line. That's the best we can get in the game. Uh, I went ahead and auto-crafted that, or set it up in auto-crafting just so, for giggles. Uh, eventually, we'll get there. Um, oh, let's see. It says about 18 seconds, but it's making these things over here. Whoa, whoa, what is going on? Yep, so this is working, but it's slow, but it's slow. We need to get some accelerator cards going. Uh, good thing is we can do that. I went ahead and added one more um, crafting CPU just for now. I uh, put it here. Again, we're going to put those. Um, so the auto, the, the four stuff, the, that's going to be there. This is where all the crafting CPUs are going to go on these here. And then in the middle down here coming up is where all of the uh, processing, all of the auto crafters are going to be. So uh, very cool. Uh, we're not smelting anything. We're not pulverizing anything. We're still making some stuff over there, though. But as soon as we get some of those accelerators in here, we can make that actually go a lot faster. Check this out. Boom. Boom. Just in doing that, that's that, that's going to be much faster. Cool thing is, is you can accelerate the rate at which you're you're crafting these guys. Isn't that, isn't that crazy to think about? So let's see. So each of those takes five, so we need... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we need 29 because I have one in my inventory. So let's make 29 of these. Oh, just kidding. We need to make... So we need 30 total, so we need to make 25. Oops, wait. There we go. Let's go ahead and make 25 up. Put those there. So it's doing the round robin. So these guys up here are kind of slow. Kind of slow. 
Uh, let's go ahead and fill up the redstone on all of these two while we're at it. So that way that's not an issue. Oop, that might be an issue. Okay, so we should have a bunch of silicone that we are going to charge into our thing or put into our thing. Yeah, look at that. How much silicone you got? 50, 51, 42. Let's just go ahead and throw these in there. Those are going to start auto smackaroonin. Okay, acceleration. Cool, we got all of them. So now we can add them to each of these. Yep, that's moving faster. Cool. So now these are all maxed out too. Awesome sauce. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. We can also do that for these down here too. We can put the acceleration cards in them. Uh, but let's see. Did that 64K get made up? It sure did. But let's see. Do we need for quests? Does it require us to get all the ones prior? Yeah, okay, so let's go ahead, craft up a 4K. We can do that. 4K. Oh, it shouldn't take that long, should it? Can we have like a crafting monitor up here as well? Is that still a thing? It is. So we can check out what's being crafted. Um... Yeah, that's going to be important to have later on. We'll put that there. Uh, we're going to need some more. We're going to need a filter, or we're going to need a pattern for our patterns. Does that make sense? I hope it did. <gasps> Oof. Okay, so let's put the normal service quartz in there. Like so, boom, pattern. And we can put that in there as well. We're gonna need to make some more of these as well. Let's see. What do we need to make 64 of these? We need lots of glass. We need to get i I'm gonna automate glass off camera here, guys, because it's, I'm sick and tired of having to come over here, snag it, and then the system bogs down because it's trying to keep up. So let's see here. What are we looking for, patterns? Yeah. Perfect. So we got those starting to craft up, which is good. All right. And then can we actually make that? <gasps> oh, baby. Oh, baby. Ooh, 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 baby. 64K. Booyah, we're going to fill all of these up with 64Ks because storage is the best. And psychotic puts your nose that I love my storage. Your storage room, you're going to be in there forever, so you got to make it look beautiful. Wow, that's pretty cool looking. Okay, I'll be right back. Let me see how much time we got. All right, guys, unfortunately, that is all the time we have for today. If you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, if you have any uh, ideas for the series, please do let me know. I'd love to implement them into this build. But anyways, guys, I will see you all in the next episode. Peace out. Bye-bye.